G'day cocktail lovers, I am doing a bit of an experiment in this video and I hope you enjoy experiments. I know I enjoy conducting them, so I hope you enjoy watching them and possibly learning from them. Maybe we learn together here. This experiment is because I have an experimental syrup. This dark looking syrup, probably just looks like a brown sugar syrup, was apple juice a few hours ago. We had a big bottle of apple juice that no one wanted to drink, it's like two liters of it. And I thought, surely I can turn that into a syrup. I did go online for a bit of guidance and people said, yeah, just put it in a saucepan and uh, simmer it down, reduce it by 80 to 90%. There you go, apple syrup, great for cocktails, etc. So I did that. And what was interesting, this apple juice was a little bit tart, just a little bit sour, which I wasn't really expecting for an apple juice. And when it reduced down, I thought it would be really sweet when like the water boiled off, and it is, but it also concentrated the tartness. I kid you not, this tastes like a warhead lolly. Those sour lollies you get, it's very interesting. So of course I thought, well clearly that needs to be in a sour cocktail. So I spent a bit of time thinking of uh, what to try it with first, and in the end, I just went, you know what, uh, apple syrup, I'm going to go with apple brandy, some French Calvados, and I'm going to keep it pretty simple, just a standard sort of sour recipe, where normally I do sugar syrup and uh, lemon or lime juice, or both. This one, this is going for the juice and for the sour and the sugar elements. It's really just going to be Calvados and the syrup. Now, I do like it foamy as well. You could use egg white for that. I am going to use Wonder Foam, which hopefully works with all these components. And hopefully we're going to get an interesting and tasty sour out of this. Here's how I'm making it. Keeping this pretty simple, adding two ounces or 60 mils of apple brandy to the shaker, then 30 mils of the sour apple syrup, and then a few drops of Wonder Foam. To try and get the best head of foam, we're doing a dry shake, which means shaking good and hard for 15 or even 20 seconds with no ice, and then adding ice to the shaker, shaking it again, what we call a wet shake, again for about another 15 to maybe even 20 seconds. Then we're straining that into a rocks glass over a big chunk of ice, and for garnishes, I'm using a twist of orange peel and a maraschino cherry on a skewer. And that gives us a Calvados Sour, maybe just a sour apple cocktail. Now the taste test. Oh, that works really well. That apple syrup is actually more subtle than I expected with the Calvados. And I think the apple nature of both, they're complementing each other quite well. It is a really mellow little drink. What's it reminding me of? There's a little zing from the syrup is actually tasting a bit like apple cider now. This was a successful experiment. So if you find yourself with an excess of apple juice, turn it into a syrup and see where you can take it from there. It's certainly come up with an interesting drink for me. I hope it works for you as well. Until I see you again, I will say cheers.